1968, the United States found itself mired in an unpopular war in Southeast Asia that by then had claimed the lives of more than 17,000 American soldiers. The war was opposed by many leaders in society, including the Reverend Martin Luther King, who had first gained national prominence by his famous march to Washington in 1961. On that day, his voice rang out with words that would inspire a generation. I have a dream. One day, this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream. King had met with Kennedy that day, and now, seven years later, he was planning another march to Washington, both to protest the war and to plead the case of the nation's poor. But first, he traveled to Memphis, Tennessee, in support of a strike by the city's sanitation workers. On the evening of April 4th, he gave a prophetic speech. I've looked over, and I see the promised land. He was on the balcony of his room at the Lorraine Motel when a bullet from a 30 caliber rifle struck him. The assassin was identified as a white man named James Earl Ray. But the choice of the Lorraine Motel had been a closely guarded secret, a last minute change. The ballistics did not match. Support was growing for a new trial for Ray, but he died before this could come to pass. The King assassination led to violent riots. Robert Kennedy spoke out in an effort to calm the crowds. Four days later, attended by his family, Martin Luther King was carried to his final place of rest. Robert Kennedy was among them. <laughs> 